Nigerian artists have been using their art to bridge the gap between culture, a phenomenon the diplomats are yet to achieve, end of quote. And this was credited to Susan Rook on the program Week in Review on CNN, January 3rd, 1993. My name is Tunde Odulade, but my official name is Samuel Tunde Odulade. On the eighth day, I was given Uriki, according to Yoruba tradition, and my Uriki, Ladire, one who makes batik or owns batik. Melegon, one who survives amidst conspiracy. Akwela Juma Jason, one who sojourns and never suffers. Otile Alare Ribi, one who prepares from his home before embarking on the journey. Olode, one who sees the world as his constituency. Akoki, one who you meet and you wish you meet again. Art chose me. I didn't choose that. And as you can tell from my Uriki given to me on the eighth day, which was the day my biography was written. Yeah, photography has taken me to a lot of original places and I've met a lot of people through it. Like um, Mr. Tunde, who I came to document his work, and uh, I've ended up learning a lot from him. My experience uh, documenting Mr. Tunde Odulade's work has been uh, amazing because it has given me the, um, a golden opportunity to um, learn not only art but life itself. My name is Inse Abasi Akwan. I'm a photographer with passion for reportage and documentary. Olaju Art Group, of which Fabio Guleye is the coordinator and in fact the founder has done a lot of really wonderful work promoting African art with particular reference to Nigerian art. I met Femi Oguleye in San Antonio, Texas some years back. He came to one of my exhibitions in San Antonio. I was impressed by what I, was, what I do and therefore approached me and said, can we work together? So he and his partner, Eliana, came to meet with me and we had a meeting and we saw that we could work together. And ever since, Olaju Art Group had organized various exhibitions that have been featured prominently in it. And we had this wonderful conversation about development of art and the production of it and then the use of it you know all around the world focusing on african art so olaju art group um, is an organization that i feel comfortable working with and we have a lot of things to do together for the future uh, the piece that i created for this uh, project is uh, a piece that I, uh, that I call uh, a Peaceful Coexistence. And uh, what I've done here on this particular piece is that I've been able to combine different fabrics of different textures, different weights, different patterns together and recreated it in order to tell my story. But as you can see this fabric of the, 
of the uh, the middle class, so to say, that is been punctured. So that has some undertone to it, economic, if you like, or political undertone, or social undertone, that the middle class has been, you know, kind of relegated. And that's why you see the puncture that you see on this side. Then the entire fabric is placed on a black background. And I don't mean to do that to refer to black as a race, but rather when you put all the colors in this world together, it gives you black. When the rich don't spend, the poor don't eat. And the middle class are the, uh, the one behind the economy, you know, stability of every society. So we are fixing it. And I believe as we fix this, middle class in Broglio is fixed forever. And we will have our economic back on track again. Wherever it is, this may apply to. Anywhere around the world that this applies to. So it, it, it's, it's not just Nigeria, my country, but a kind of to whom it may concern. That's what it says. And that can only happen under a peaceful coexistence.